Hey, welcome back. Let's do a state of the collection video for all my pocket knives. <laughs> Let's just start at the top of the pile and work our way to the bottom. This is a Rough Rider Dental Micarta. Um, what would you call that? A single bladed trapper? Not really a trapper. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but I like it. It uh, just never really gelled with me. There's something about it. Uh, there's some blade play. Uh, but still, it's a great knife. But uh, I don't know. Not one of my favorites. Good work knife, though. And we've got a American Lawman. Really, really. This is a tough knife. Had this for a long time. Has a hollow grind. Really sharp. This is... Um, CTS HP. This is a carpenter steel. A good steel. Keeps an edge really well. And I have used and abused this. I really like how that fits in my hand. It is really ergonomic. I can get a lot of work done with that. And Spiderco Cat. Had this for a long time. And really... A handy little knife. Great for the fifth pocket. I really like the wire pocket clips on uh, spider coves. And I like the spidey hole. And uh, another good knife. Uh, let's see, this is a spider co tenacious. Another one that I've had for a long time. And uh, just a basic, great EDC knife. I would recommend this to anybody that's just getting into knives. They're still relatively affordable. When I bought this, it was like $35 or $40, but now they, um, some of the models can go up to, you know, $100 or more. I don't think I would pay that for a spider coat tenacious. Uh, but if you can pick one up for around 50 bucks, I think it is worth it. And the action on this one is really good. It's just on washers. Uh, this one is a really handy knife. And, of course, Sodbuster. Can't go wrong with the Sodbuster. And this one is uh, the Delrin Handle Carbon Steel. Picks up a really nice patina. And as far as the slip joint goes, this makes for a great work knife, too. Very comfortable handle. And... Uh, this one, centering was good. I think I got a pretty good one on this one. Uh, I've shown this one recently. This is a just a friction knife, a subboard. Really, I was really surprised by this, just how much I like it. It's got a convex grind and uh, carbon steel and a handy little knife. Uh, what else we got? A trapper, also in carbon steel. I picked this one out in the store, so I just got the best one I could find, so there's not uh, any gapping to speak of, and the blades are well-centered, and I like a trapper. I just like it. I like that spade blade. That is a really durable point on the uh, trappers. So, like that. This is a 6318 Stockman, also in carbon steel. And I have a, somewhere in here, I have a sod buster that has this gray bone. Good knife, like it. Uh, no particular order here. This is a queen canoe. And this is a Chinese made queen, but they're starting to make them in the United States. And they look suspiciously like uh, they were coming out of Baron Sons uh, factory, but I'm not sure. They may be making them on their own. I don't know. You're in America. But a great, great knife. I've got kind of a matching one here. This is the Warncliffe um, quill. I think it, I don't know what pattern they called it, but really like that bone on there. Look at this, just beautiful. Nice. 
a little toothpick, and it's a case, tiny toothpick, uh, 310096, and this is in the chrome vanadium. Uh, pretty neat little knife. Another little tiny knife that I have had forever. This is a USA made Schrade. Bought this in a bait and tackle probably in the maybe the early 90s, late 80s. I'm not sure. Uh, but I carried it for a long, long time. Really neat little knife. Uh, back to Rough Rider, a bow trapper. And I've got a black one as well. Really great action on that. Good walk and talk. And surprisingly comfortable. I'm not real crazy about the blade shape. It's more like a steak knife, <laughs> but uh, it is really, uh, really useful though. And well made. Uh, this is a 75 pattern Stockman. And it's getting a good patina on it as well. So the biggest uh, Stockman and the littlest one. <laughs> so I've got both ends of the spectrum here and several in between. Uh, this little tiny one makes a great uh, watch pocket knife. Handy little knife. A big one and a little one. And I won this from uh, Everyday Gary's uh, giveaway. This is a GV DV, uh, Damascus, and sharp, 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 very sharp, very stabby. Um, awesome. Thank you, Gary. And uh, this is a muskrat, Rough Rider. And this is a work knife for me, or it was. And I really like muskrats for a work knife because it's the same blade shape. And uh, so you get used to cutting with this one. This one gets dull. Open up the other one. And it feels exactly the same. So if you're doing a lot of cutting, uh, you've got two identical, really sharp blades. All right. And a uh, beautiful knife. This is the sow belly. Uh, Tony Bowes case sow belly. Uh, I think this is my favorite that's not sentimental. I've got some sentimental knives in here, but this is just my favorite, favorite knife. It's just beautiful, very well made, and the way uh, the sow bellies offset blades are in here, uh, you never get blade rub. This is the way to do a Stockman. I wish Case would do all their Stockmans with uh, the way they do their sow bellies with that kind of, kind of offset blade. Awesome. Oh, another Rough Rider, a Warncliffe. This is the Micarta Work Knife. And I've had it for a long time and I've used it for a long time and great knife. And this is um, a knife that I've had for 40 years. Yeah, about 40 years, I think. And I've carried it uh, for off and on that entire time. So a little Stockman. Uh, this was my dad's knife. So this one has sentimental value. And it's just a big honking folding hunter case. And he turned his into a screwdriver. <laughs> I don't know if he intended to do that or not. Uh, but a great knife. I, I'm really tempted to pick up a new folding hunter. And I wish that they would start putting the lanyard hole back in their folding hunters. Um, that's heavy. <laughs> but that is um, just a honking big knife. And this is stainless steel, but it's picked up a patina. Uh, just from age. And I've got two more of my dad's knives, a little Stockman, and this is an Eisenhower. And this is Genuine Stag. And 
uh, very old, but uh, still in great shape, but a lot of sentimental value there. So I'll never get rid of these. Uh, these two, this is my grandfather's Stockman and my grandfather's Barlow. And it's a, uh, you know, an easy open or uh, sometimes they call those uh, one arm open <laughs> uh, or razor Barlow. And this is a, both of them are Bokers. My granddad liked Boker. So lots of sentimental value and, uh, and very old. So these knives I will never get rid of. So these knives got a lot of sentimental value. If the house ever catches on fire, that's the first thing I grab as I'm going out the door. Uh, some junk knives, um, this dangerous, uh, automatic that uh, I don't know why I don't throw it away and it's too dangerous to give away. So, uh, you know, the point is sticking out there and it's too dangerous to carry. So I don't know why I keep it, but uh, just cause I don't want it, anybody else to get hurt. I think that's why I keep it. And uh, these were like a free giveaway at like a gun show or something and they're knockoffs of um, Swiss army knives. And we've got an open nail. This is the, what is this? The number five, maybe? I can't remember now. I uh, bought this at a flea market. And the only reason I bought it was it had this beautiful patina on it. And I paid about what you would pay for a new one <laughs> just because I just saw that patina and I said, I gotta have that. So I, I mean, I didn't pay Maybe fifteen dollars at most for that, but uh, so it's like brand new. Only it's got a patina. Uh, one more Rough Rider. This is a Rough Rider Reserve. This is the um, Micarta Barlow. This one has probably got the best walk and talk of any knife that I own, and I really like this knife. I don't know why I don't uh, have more uh, Rough Rider Reserves, but great value and unique designs and this is just a modern take on a barlow and i've carried this a lot and i really like it great knife uh sd classic this is the trash panda <laughs> and you know typical sd classic it's got a little screwdriver and that is the difference between an sd classic and a classic is this one has a little screwdriver and a neat little pair of scissors. So if I'm not carrying a Swiss Army knife that has scissors, I'll stick this in my pocket because uh, I really need scissors because I have a bushy beard. Uh, let's see what I've got. This is a Pioneer, Pioneer X. Uh, like it. This is a Tinker. Just a plain tinker. This is a super tinker. No, this is a climber. This is the super tinker. This is the explorer. This is the tinker deluxe. In my pocket, <laughs> I have, uh, oh, there it is. There is the uh, matching sodbuster to that. And do I have two knives in my pocket? Yep, of course I do. And of course, my Swiss champ is in my pocket. And I found another one, a compact. That's it. Catch you on the next one. Bye.